is out and oh yes, those hems are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. On today's Ask the Derm, Dr. Groff is here with how to treat. Do you have those uh, spider veins on your legs and you want to get rid of them? Uh, Dr. Groff, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. I think I have one or two. They yeah, appeared. most, most they, people do. Most people do. Yeah, yeah. What, what causes them? Well, the biggest thing is probably heredity, but uh, pregnancy certainly brings them about because there's a lot of pressure in the abdomen. It forces all the blood to your extremities. Mm -hmm. um, occupational, if you're on your feet a lot like you are, that can tend to make uh, leg veins appear. So those are probably the three biggest things. And then there are like small ones and then there are yeah. really big ones. Are they dangerous? Um, not usually. In rare cases, they can be. If you're having symptoms like pain or your legs feel heavy or tired all the time, then it can be a danger factor, but most of them are harmless and more of a cosmetic nuisance. And do we see them more as we get older? Oh, certainly, yeah, they definitely get worse with age. But I mean, we see young girls, even like Brittany here, she's yes. uh, in her 20s and okay. she already has some back here, which you oh, can see. Let's take a look. So um, I, we're, we're gonna, by the way, if you're having like breakfast and you're leaving, don't go anywhere because we're gonna uh, watch these disappear in just a few seconds. But can you uh, tell us a little bit about the treatment? What is the treatment for them? And then you also have some pictures to give us an idea of how fast you can get rid sure, of them. Sure, yeah. These are called reticular veins. So okay. they're actually a little bit bigger than the typical spider vein. Yes. you see the ones yes. that look like red and purple little lines yeah so these are reticular a little bit bigger but easily treatable the best treatment for these is to inject a medication called sotradecol in there okay but we use a tiny tiny needle it's about the same size as a botox needle. okay and then can we see the results you brought sure, some pictures yeah, so you, look at, you know uh, you could see what it looks like oh right. wow what a difference yes yeah, so that's just one treatment and you can see that's more of almost like a varicose vein because okay. it's bulging okay um, but you can see we can get some great results with this one treatment I usually tell patients to expect at least 50% improvement with one treatment, okay. but it can certainly be higher than that, Look like at these this. cases show. This is a big, huge difference. Yeah, be a so huge difference. Five months after one treatment, and this is six months after wow, one treatment. Wow, they're like all gone almost. Yeah, so she I got love it. Excellent response. Okay, so you're going to show us how to do it. Yeah, we'll uh, do this. If you are, uh, you know, not into the needle thing like myself, maybe just turn this way yeah, or it'll something. It'll take me. i got to get my gloves on. And, don't, you know. don't squirm. I'm sure you used to it. Oh, boy. So Isabel, Isabel's making up the solution right now. She's making up what's called Sotradecol solution, okay. and she's turning it into a foam. Okay. This is the best treatment. It's called foam sclerotherapy. Okay. And this is what we do for these reticular veins. Oh, I'm gonna. So you can see how small this. Some might tell me when it's over. The needle's tiny. Yeah, but still. <laughs> so you can see the medication going up through the vein there. Now I just kind of push it a little bit. I don't do needles. This isn't too bad. There it goes. Traveling up, can up, up. Can you feel the needle? I mean, it's a little pinch, but it's tolerable. You're just like sitting there not even <laughs> flinching. It's very tolerable. Really? Yeah. Even if, are you a baby or are you I'm not? the biggest baby Oh, ever. you are? Yeah. Okay, well that makes me feel better. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just finished. And then uh, Dr. Groff, is this a, a, an expensive procedure? Like how much would something like this cost? Um, anywhere, depending on the number of, uh, you can see the foam there. Yeah. Uh, depending on the number of tre treatments and the size and the number of vessels, it can range from just a couple hundred dollars up to maybe a thousand dollars a leg if they have extensive veins. And you, and you would have to keep doing it over and over again or? No, no, once they're okay. treated, they're permanently gone. Now you'll get new ones over time, of course. So. Then you'll have to come back in for more treatment. That was cool. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Bob, thank you for phone. being here. You're welcome. If you want to get more information and uh, learn more about how you can do this to yourself, fox5sandiego.com, click the seat on tab. It'll get you hooked up with the doctor. <laughs> can I look now? <laughs> oh, man. Good job, Dr. Groff. Uh, still ahead on Fox 5, what you should be eating for breakfast to make sure that you have enough energy. 